Francie Black. Welcome to our CEO Spotlight. So I have Ethan Anderson here with me today. Um, he's CEO and founder of MyTime.com, a great application for scheduling all those personal appointments, whether it be hair, uh, dog, uh, dog grooming, oil changes. And so, Ethan, why don't you start us off and tell us a little bit about you and your background and then why you started MyTime. Sure. Well, great. Well, thanks for having me here. Um, so my background is I was a Google product manager for a couple of years, several years on image search and Google video. And I left Google to start a company called Red Beacon. Red Beacon was the 2009 TechCrunch 50 winner, and it was eventually acquired by the Home Depot several years ago. Red Beacon was really more about getting bids for home service jobs. Things like plumbers, electricians, carpenters, roofers, painters, they could, you could take a picture and describe the job you wanted done, and you'd receive bids through the website and app. And it was a great experience, and I think we made a lot of uh, you know, headway uh, in that kind of uh, that field. But one of the things that I learned from that experience is that people actually wanted to complete the transaction and actually book their appointment. And it gave me the idea for my time. You know, so the vision for my time is it's kind of like an Amazon.com for local services. You can see the real-time uh, appointment availability and services and prices and reviews from millions of local businesses across the U.S. And, um, you know, we're in categories like health and beauty, sports and fitness, um, you know, automotive, home services. So it's really broad. Uh, really, if it's an appointment-based business, it's probably on my time. Okay. So... Let's say I want to make a hair appointment, and I'm thinking about it on a Monday morning, and I normally would try and call my hairdresser, and I can't call her on a Monday. Does that mean I can book that appointment? Yeah, so you can use my time 24-7. And in fact, Monday is funny enough our biggest day. It's about 17% of the transactions. <laughs> and I think that's because people you know, do actually want to book their haircut appointment, and they find the salon is closed, so they Google it, mm. and they come up on, on my time, and they realize, oh, this is great. I can do it on my own schedule. Wow. Okay. So, or if in the evening, if there, if I can book it while the service is closed, so I can book my um, oil checks for my car, I can check or book uh, appointments for my dog grooming. Is mm -hmm. that right? That's right. And all in one place. And in fact, about 40% of the bookings are happening after the business is closed for the day. And I think what people are realizing is, you know, I want to kind of live my life on my own schedule. And I don't want to have to kind of call during business hours and wait for someone to call me back, play phone mm -hmm. tag. You know, it's sort of like we have this on-demand world that we've created, you know, with things like Uber for getting a car and, you know, Grubhub or Seamless for getting food delivery, <laughs> hotel tonight for last-minute hotels. It's like people are just kind of used to, like, just getting things when they want them now. Right. The world has really changed, like, at least in sure, my lifetime. Sure. And my time kind of tapped into that movement, I think, where people say, you know, it's like 11 o'clock at night, and I realize there's a bunch of things I need to get done for, you know, health health, beauty, my home, right. my kids, whatever. And so they go on to my time and they care, take care of it all in one place. That's great. I love that. I need this. <laughs> <laughs> That's good to hear. So, um, yeah. so for a business to get on to my time, what does it take for them to be part of my time? Yeah, so most businesses in the U.S. already have a free profile that we've created for them. Okay. And all they have to do is claim that free profile and connect their software calendar to my time. And okay. we support dozens of different software calendars that local businesses tend to use. Okay. You know, you may have heard of some of them like Google Calendar okay. and Outlook sure. and even the iPhone's calendar. Um, and once their calendars are connected to my time, we can show their real-time availability and even write back appointments into their calendar that we bring them. Okay. And the great thing for these businesses is we don't charge them anything for the profile wow. and there's no monthly fees. Wow. All they pay is a, a uh, you know, reasonable commission for every new customer we bring them. Um, and if they don't even want to pay that commission, they can choose to be what we call an unpromoted business. Okay. And they won't rank as highly in search, but they will still be on my time for free. So it's kind of a no-brainer. Like, why wouldn't you, as a business, put your business onto my time? Yeah, I think every business in the U.S. should claim their profile on my time. And you know, it is just a fantastic channel for them to get new customers. Just like HP would say, well, sure, we sell HP printers on our website, but we also sell it on Amazon, Best Buy, and Walmart. Well, my time is like a channel that a business should be on, um, especially because we're growing so fast. We've been growing about 40% a month since our national launch in September, and it's becoming a pretty significant source uh, for new customers for these businesses. 
So is this also going to show, show up in search results? So if you're looking for some place to, to have pet grooming, you, you mentioned something about it showing up in search results. So it almost aids the company in that way as well in terms of being found. Is that correct? Absolutely. In and in a couple of different ways. First of all, mytime.com itself ranks very highly in Google. So you'll see that we rank in the first page of search results okay. very often for different, different searches. But the other way it helps the businesses is we link back to the business's own websites. And so we're providing them... You know, it's known in the industry as SEO value sure. by linking back to them. So we're helping their own websites rank higher as well. Right. Helping them get some search optimization. Okay. Absolutely. So are businesses getting new customers through this? You mentioned that briefly. Yeah. About 85% of the bookings are from new customers, not existing customers. Mm -hmm. um, now, we're really happy when the business's existing customers also want to use MyTime. So we don't charge them anything for the existing customers who are booking through MyTime mm -hmm. um, because... My time is so, like sort of like you use Amazon for buying okay. several different categories of goods. Okay. People use my time for several categories of services. Right. So you okay. might get a haircut and a facial one day, and you might get a massage or a teeth cleaning another day. And so, you know, I know it sounds funny, but it's actually very convenient to have all those things in one place. And we actually remember your last appointment. We prompt you when you're overdue for something and ask you if you'd like to rebook it at this time. Um, and, you know, and we also will send you specials from the business, what we call discounted appointment times that they're having a hard time filling and they're willing to offer the service maybe 30 or 40% off if you can come during their discounted time. Wow. I think that sounds great. So from a consumer perspective, from my perspective, I live a crazy life, working hard, family, so forth. I can schedule things offline or not offline, but not during peak hours. I don't have to wait for callbacks. I, one place to, to book multiple appointments. It's sort of like an organization tool for all of those ancillary services. Yeah, that's right. And we've made it super easy to access my time. So okay. we've got a, a really nice consumer-friendly website. But we also built a, a mobile website. So if you want to access my time from your iPhone and your Android phone browser, it looks just you know fantastic in the browser. It's super easy to use. And finally, we built a native iPhone app. Okay. Um, it's been featured by Apple probably about 15 times. So they really <laughs> love it. Um, it's won some awards. So I think it's a really easy to use, kind of nice to have app on your phone. Okay. And we'll work, we'll be working on a native Android app as well. Okay. So there's a native iPhone app. There's mm -hmm. a web-based, um, whether you're on your desktop or your laptop or your tablet, you can get to the web version of it. And then Android right. is coming. So just want to make sure I got That's that. That's right. And we found about 55% of the bookings are happening through uh, mobile or tablet. So right. people are definitely moving to a more mobile-centric world. Well, you're sitting there waiting for something, and if you want to book your hair appointment while you're you know, waiting for your meeting to start or whatever it is that you're doing, um, I love it. I think, so, I think people are on the move. You know, like you might be like, I have an hour between a meeting. Let me see where I can get a manicure. Exactly. Or you know, there's a couple of errands I want to run. Let me see who's available right now. Right. So, so what, yeah, are you, I, what are your popular markets right now? Where are you? Yeah, so we started out here in California, so our office is in San Francisco. Uh, so LA and San Francisco are our two biggest markets because that's where we started. Sure. But at this point, you know, we have thousands of bookings in all 50 states mm -hmm. every week, um, you know, millions of businesses. So you can pretty much access my time from anywhere in the country. So in certain markets where you're not maybe quite as well known yet, is there a first, uh, an advantage to being, you know, first on your system or new on the system or... or Absolutely. When you claim your profile of a small business owner, you will always rank above the listings of businesses who have not claimed their profile. Okay. And so you have, if you are like an early adopter of my time, you will almost definitely get much more visibility to your page on okay. my time. And people will probably be booking you over your competitors. So any small businesses that are listening to this, you need to go claim your profile. <laughs> Absolutely. Very good. All right. Anything else you'd like to share with us? No, I mean, I'm just, I'm really excited that, uh, you know, the traction that we've had and the kind of reception from both the small business owners and consumers in kind of the early days of our company. Um, I really feel like, you know, we're pioneering something very new for local services, which is e-commerce and mobile commerce. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, small business owners, a lot of them are not the most tech savvy people in the world. And so I'm really pleased to kind of be able to provide this service for them that, you know, is on their side and works for them to kind of help them grow their businesses. Well, when I read about my time, I thought it was great. I felt it was something that I needed, and I felt like there's a huge untapped. The small business market really doesn't have uh, 
there's not a lot of people focusing on that market. So I think this is an incredibly valuable tool and something that we all use. So I thought it was fantastic. And that's why I wanted to interview you today. So thanks. Well, thank you so much. Thanks for joining us, Ethan. Great. Thanks. All right. Take care.